Hello everyone, this is Miss Madeline with the Children's Hands-On Museum of Tuscaloosa. This week, we're talking about toys. Here at CHOM, we are all about learning through play. People have always enjoyed playing. A long time ago, people spent most of their waking hours working to survive. Even the kids had to help out. But they still loved toys when they had some free time. Things archaeologists have found include dolls, balls, tops, cup and ball games, some early board games, and yo-yos. Did you know yo-yos have been around for thousands of years? Yo-yos are one of my favorite toys. So let's start our week with yo-yos and make some cool toys all week long. Hey, it's Miss Melissa from the Children's hands on Museum in Tuscaloosa, and today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple yo-yo. You want to save some bottle caps, some plastic ones, and I have put a little hole in the center of the two that I have here. You need some string, of course, for a yo-yo, a pair of scissors, a Phillips head screwdriver, the kind that comes to a point, and a screw that is a Phillips head screw with a point at the bottom. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to take my screw with the little point on the end of it, and I'm gonna put it in the middle of that hole, and I'm gonna twist it in. Now, the first time I tried this, the hole that I had started in the lid was not quite big enough, and so I had to work it and make it a little bit bigger, but now my screw is gonna go right through the center if I use my Phillips head screwdriver. You also wanna make sure the length of your screw is not gonna to be too long. You'll have to adjust that and figure that out by measuring. Do that non-standard measurement. Okay, all right. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some string and I'm going to tie it to the screw. So I'm gonna start my loop before I put it on the actual screw. There we go. And I'm gonna put it on top up here, okay? So the head of the screw is there and I'm gonna tie the string to this part of the screw. Okay, and I can always clip that end off. So I've got a nice little knot. And now you've probably already figured out that I'm going to twist this lid on that end of the screw. So we're using a simple machine, a screw, to attach these two lids to each other. And the string is around it. All right, so um, the last thing you'll do is you're gonna wrap the string around the middle and we'll cut it off. And you'll notice earlier I mentioned something about the length of the, the screw that I used. You'll notice that the screw fits between those two bottle caps, but it doesn't stick out past the caps. That would be an important safety feature since you do have a, a point sticking out here. So that's the length I was talking about. The only other thing you need to do is to make a just a loop in the end of it. And again, this might be another part that you need some help with. Uh, for your finger to go through, and there are several ways you can do that. I'm just doing a simple knot. Ooh. There we go. And now you are ready to play 
with your yo-yo. Now, if you want to and get fancy, if you want to get other caps and use some really good glue and glue it to the end to de and decorate the ends, you can do that. You can use all different colors if you like. This one's a little bit smaller. Um, so you've got a lot of options here. But the cool thing is this really works. 